Stacy with As The Tea Brews. Uh, so I'm going to film just a little bit of a different uh, video today. I have teas that I don't like and I don't want to finish and I don't want to look at them in my pantry anymore. Um, these are teas that I've tried a few times and um, I just really don't like so um, I just want to get rid of them I hate to waste tea and so I keep staring at them thinking oh maybe I'll just give it another shot and I for most of them I have but I've just uh, just decided that I just don't like them um, so I don't know if anybody would be interested in a giveaway of these um, if I package them all up in a um, an envelope and sent them to somebody I don't know if you guys want to use tea that's already been opened. Um, you do pour boiling water on it. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you think anybody would be interested in that. If so, then uh, I'll send them to whoever's interested. If there's just one person, um, if there's more people than that, I'll just draw a name. Okay, so um, I have two that are in tins. And um, the first one is Carrot Cake by T2. And this one I really, really wanted to love. Um, it, <clears throat> I think it would be excellent as a latte, but the milk curdles in it, and it's a black tea, and it's got, it smells good, it smells really good. Um, I think maybe if you are someone who really likes plain black tea, or flavored black tea, you might like this. I was trying to find where the ingredients were on this one. Oh, they're at the bottom. Uh, black tea pineapple bits and I think that it's the pineapple that makes the milk curdle sugar uh, let me see carrot bits cinnamon hazelnut brittle almond slivers natural and artificial flavors orange slices orange blossom so it smells really really good I don't like it plain and I it curdled as a latte and my husband I sent it with him to work yesterday and he said he didn't like it so um, I'm just done with it I it was kind of a pricey tea I feel like the tin whoops the tin was maybe $28, and I think that was even on sale. I don't have a ton left in there, but there's still quite a bit. Uh, maybe, I don't know, three or four ounces, I would guess, but I'm really not sure. Uh, it wasn't full to begin with. It was, you know, it had a bag in it, and then it was a partial tin. So um, if I do end up sending these to someone, I would just probably put this in a, a Ziploc baggie and label it, and then... Um, put it in that way because the tins would probably be more expensive to ship. Um, the next one is also from T2 and you know what, for all of the good things that I've heard about T2, I was not impressed. Um, I just don't, I think their matchas are just okay. They don't really taste like matcha to me, they're very flavored. Um, they are Chinese uh, matcha instead of Japanese matcha. Um, and uh, I just haven't loved them. They're good. I mean, they're okay. We're still drinking. We're gonna drink the matches. And I do have a couple other teas from them that um, that are okay or good enough that we'll drink them and enjoy them. But this one, I can't even stand the stand the smell of this one. This is white white cocoa, and it's a white tea. And I thought that this one was going to be more like a white chocolate kind of tea. Let me show this one to you. Yeah, I. It's very coconutty. So it has the white tea in there, um, but there's a lot of coconut and a lot of coconut flavor. And this tin is about half full. Um, I guess I just don't like coconut in tea, or maybe it's just too overpowering for me in this tea. I just really don't like it. So this tea came with uh, three and a half ounces, and um, I've only had a couple of cups out of this, and I just... It's a beautiful tin, I'm gonna save the tin, I'll put the tea in a bag if somebody wants it. Um, but I just really don't like this. I, I'm not going to drink it, I hate for it to go to waste, but um, yeah, no, I don't want it in my pantry anymore. So the next one is from Bird and & Blend, and this is the Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster, and this one is a black tea, and I'm not even really sure what this one is supposed to taste like. And it says it also has peppermint, blue pea flowers, uh, black currant, and natural flavoring. And this one, I don't even know. It smells really odd to me. So I had uh, one or two cups of this one. This was from one of their sample boxes 
their monthly subscription box and there's not a ton in here but there's definitely several cups left and I just I couldn't drink this one I didn't like it at all so that one is on my I am getting rid of this tea list uh, let's see I have two more from Burnham Blend actually um, one is pink grapefruit and this one is one of their iced teas and it is a green tea I believe green tea and it has hibiscus and orange peel um, it's a very strong grapefruit smell and flavor um, it was too strong for me so I think it's supposed to be iced there's probably only one or two servings of this one left but um, you know if anybody really wants to try some of these um, then maybe you can have your chance I'll just send them away uh, let's see the last one from Burn and Blend is breakfast ready honey and this is supposed to be their answer to um, like a caffeine free morning blend uh, it's a rooibos and honey bush blend with um, sunflower petals and natural flavoring and this just I don't know just something about this I I, I don't love it it's um, I couldn't drink this one either it's kind of it's kind of honey tasting um, but it just, I just didn't like it. And I look at it and the smell makes my stomach turn a little bit. Um, so I don't want to drink this one. I just don't. Tea should be enjoyable, right? We should enjoy drinking our tea. It's like a, a nice, relaxing uh, experience. And I am just not enjoying any of these teas. So uh, away they go. Um, okay, so the next two are from Kepin Tea, which uh, <clears throat> there's not a lot of Kepin Teas around, but there is one not too far from me. Um, this one smells really, really good. And it's a rooibos. Um, I can't remember what I didn't like about this one. I think it's a rooibos with like a, a raspberry or a cranberry um, fruit in there. But I think when I made it, I only tasted the rooibos. And so I haven't really wanted to drink this one again. Maybe I should try this one again. I don't know, it smells really good. I can't remember now why I haven't been drinking it. Um, and then my last one is from Kepin Tea also, and it's Blue Moon. And uh, this one is just, this one smells delicious, and it is actually a really good tea. If you like to drink a lot of iced tea, um, it's got a tartness to it, so you really have to add sweetener. I don't like adding sweetener to my teas, and I don't drink a lot of iced tea, so... Um, those two things, I'm just going to give this one away or get rid of it. I just don't want it sitting on my shelf and going bad. Um, so uh, it's actually really good. And I can't remember everything that's in this one, if it's herbal or not. They don't have labels with the ingredients. You can go to their website and see what is in this tea. Um, but you can see it. It's got the, the pretty colors in there. And it's very fruity. Um, but it's just too too tart for me so um so I don't want that one either and then I just made a cup and it's been too hot to try of panta pantalamalian something like that I can't remember now what the name of it is from bird and blend and it was from the box previous to the fall box and uh this is another rooibos blend I'm kind of finding if teas taste too much like rooibos I don't love them um so maybe that's you can smell the rooibos in this, um, but it also has like a strawberry, and I can smell the strawberry too. Hmm. This one might be okay, but if I finish this cup and I don't love it, then that bag may be going in this too. So <laughs> those are some teas that um, I've just been looking at in my pantry for a long time, and um, I'm just done with them. I just don't want them in there anymore. The tins take up a lot of space and I don't like either of them. And so, um, yeah, I'm getting rid of them. If anybody might want them, then let me know in the comments below. And if not, then I'll just toss them or give them to somebody I know locally who likes tea. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Are there any teas that you've tried that you just couldn't drink, that you just wanted to get off your shelf? Let me know what they are in the comments below, and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.